bread lover, you know there is nothing better than a fresh loaf of piping hot Cuban bread. Jake Peterson shows us who's baking up the best around town. For nearly a hundred years, La Segunda Bakery has been baking up a Tampa tradition. The perfect loaf of Cuban bread. Actually, lots of loaves. More than 12,000 a day to be exact. For four generations, the Moray family has been turning out this signature creation and packaging it up, not just for places like the Columbia Restaurant in Tampa, but also to ship around the country. Tony Moray uses the same recipe his grandfather brought from a small Cuban town near the turn of the century. I've been to a lot of places eating a lot of bread and I've never found anything that tastes quite like this. To turn that much bread every day, it's a 24-hour operation. The mixing of mammoth amounts of dough, the rolling out of the dough in 18 or 36 inch strips, and of course, no loaf is ready to bake without the traditional palmetto leaf. So when it actually goes into the oven, the bread is gonna break along that seam where that palmetto leaf is. That break created by the palmetto leaf gives the bread its uniform shape with a flaky, crunchy texture on the outside and soft interior that keeps the customers loyal. Very tender, very soft, it's very, um, it's like a melt in your mouth. If great Cuban bread whets your appetite for a little bit more Ybor history, then head over to the Ybor City Museum State Park nearby. You can get a great sense of what Ybor City once was, why it was started, who was here. Have a look at how the old cigar factories were laid out, or next door to the museum, check out some of the very cottages or casitas where the cigar workers used to live, all part of keeping Tampa's unique heritage alive and well. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.